Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article says sunblock turns pink when wearing off. So sunblock is something that we put on our skin so it doesn't get burned or we don't get hurt uh, from the sun when we're outside in the summer. And this sunblock, it turns pink when it's wearing off. Wearing off means like it's coming off, right? It's getting thin and the, the sunblock actually starts changing color into pink. So it lets you know. So very interesting. Let's find out what that's about. It says sunblock protects our skin from the sun. But after some time, the sunblock wears off and it's time to reapply it. So reapply, apply is when you put it on and reapply means to put it on again. So as it wears off, so if you put on sunblock after a long time, after you go swimming or you sit around for a while, then it's time to put on some more because it's wearing off, right? So a 16 year old student from South Africa came up with a brilliant idea to remind people when it's time to put on another layer of sunblock. So who was this made by? Not by some scientist, but a 16 year old student from South Africa. She came up or he came up with the idea uh, to remind people, so let them know again because they might forget. So a lot of times you put on sunblock, we go outside and we forget to put it on again and that's when we get burned. But uh, this student wanted to tell people that it was time again to put on another layer of sunblock so you don't get hurt. She combined sunblock and photochromic beads which turn into bright colors in the sun and made a sunblock that turns pink when it wears thin, signaling that it's time to reapply. So this student combined sunblock and photochromic beads. So that's something, beads are like these very round kind of uh, plasticky things. Uh, and she put them together and it changes color in the sun. So she understood that if I put a mixture of uh, photochromic beads, something that changes color, uh, if I put it in the sunblock and it changes color, then that will be a great way to tell people when it's time to reapply. So very creative, something made by a very young uh, student in South Africa. So as you can see, we need to put on sunblock, places like our nose and our ears because that's where it burns fast. And this person now, if you look at your skin and it turns pink, it's time to put some more on because you don't want to get burned. So very interesting idea coming from a 16 year old student. Very interesting. So let's look at today's uh, questions. It says, photochromic beads blank into bright colors. So what happens if it sees uh, a lot of sun? What does it do? Uh, it turns into, right? So photochromic beads turn into bright colors, so they change. They change into bright colors. Let's look at the second uh, part. It says B, a 16 year old, something from South Africa came up with an idea to remind people when it's time to put on another layer of sunblock. So a 16 year old, is it child, is it student, is it person, is it girl, is it boy? What was it? 16 year old, that's right, 16 year old student and a very young person from South Africa is the person who came up with this great idea. And, and the last question, it says, she blank sunblock and photochromic beads. So she took sunblock and photochromic beads. And what does she do in order to make this new sunblock? She combined it, right? She put it together. So it was a mixture of these two things that makes her sunblock turn pink and letting people know that you need to put on some more before it gets dangerous. So let's look at the last part of our article today and choose the correct word to finish our sentence. It says, sunblock protects our skin from the shade, sun, or shark. Well, we know we didn't talk about any sharks in this article. And the shade, it's underneath uh, something that covers you from the sun. And we know that it's not really hot or dangerous in the shade. So our correct answer is skin from the sun. And the second question, she made a sunblock that turns orange, pink, purple when it wears thin. So her sunblock, it was in our title, it was all throughout our article. It's not orange and it's not purple. So the correct answer would be pink. It turns pink. And the last question, after some time, some day or some place, the sunblock wears off and it's time to reapply it. So when do you start putting on another layer of sunblock? Is it after some time, 
after some day, I don't think a sunblock will last that long, or after some place. If you go somewhere new, you have to put it on, that doesn't really quite make sense. So after some, after some time. So even if we don't have the pink sunblock, you should really think about putting on sunblock when you go outside, especially in the summer. You don't want to get uh, burns on your skin or you don't want to get uh, the harmful effects uh, from the radiation from the sun. So you always want to make sure that you use correct sunblock. If you find this pink sunblock, that would be very interesting. People around you will look at you and say, hey, why are you turning pink? And then you can say, this, is, this means that I need to put some more sunblock on. So very interesting. Hopefully something like this can be found near you so that we can all be safer in the sun. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, article and I hope you learned a lot. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.